Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how do we create a calendar like this one in Google Sheets. So I put a start date here. For example, if I come to August, it tells me August and the first day is Tuesday as you can confirm. So if I want any other month, September, there you go. It gives me September right there. This is what we are going to draw in Google Sheets and we're going to use a number of Google Sheets functions, the sequencer function, we shall do some formatting. So let's get started and start from scratch. So we're looking at the month of August 2023. The first function I'm going to use is the sequency function. And the way the sequence function works, it takes the number of rows that you want to run and the number of columns. You give it where you want to start by how much should it change from one value to another is what is called as a step. For example, if I want six rows and seven columns, why seven columns? Because there are seven days of the week. Then comma, if I say start from one, increment by one. So if I do that, this is formatted as a date. That's why it's showing like this. However, if I come here and format it as a number, like so, you can see we get numbers one, two, 42. Okay. So since we're dealing with it, I'm going to format this in to date, I go to format, then format it as a date right there. So let's go back to the sequence function. Now that you have known what it does and how we're gonna use it, we need six rows, we need six, seven columns, and the start date will be the first date of the month, which should be this one, comma, step. We need to increment the start date by one. If I put one, press enter, you're going to see that we get the 1st of August running all through to 11th of September. So this is what we are getting right now. So to now we have to look, think of a way. Uh, if I go to this calendar right here, it tells me August starts on Tuesday. But here I have it as Sunday. So I need to think of a way how I make the first day become Tuesday. Let's go back to this. If I come here and I say B1 is where it is starting. So if I say minus two, press enter. You can see it goes to Tuesday as my first date. And that's what I want. So how do I get a Tuesday as my first day? Uh, so if I say three, my first day becomes Wednesday. So I need to say plus one. Then I have it in this format. So the first day is Tuesday right here. Now, I don't want to keep going in here and then manually changing this. I need to think of another Google Sheet function, which can give me uh, these three right here. And uh, if I come here and I say weekday, putting this date here, I press enter, you can see I get a three. So that three is what I'm going to use here. So that next time I change this, and the three means the third day of the week, Sunday being the first, Monday second, and Tuesday third. So that's what gives me the third day of the week. Now, as you have seen, instead of hard coding the three, I'm going to come here and say weekday. Then I reference the, the, the first day here and press enter. So when I do that, you can rightly see that my first 
day of the month is Tuesday, right there. Now let's try and we go to September. If it is September, the first day is Friday. Then we come here and check our September. It is Friday, as you can see. Now, with that little change, we are able to dynamically determine our first date. For example, October is a Sunday. You can see October is a Sunday right there. So let's go back to August and continue developing our calendar. Now, the other thing that we have to do is to leave out the first, the previous dates for the previous month here and also leave out the days of the next month right here, okay? So we need to think of another function which is going to accomplish that. But when you look, think about it, you are gonna have to use an if function and against the month. So you say, let's use the if function and we test the month. Uh, let's cut out that and we are gonna say if and I use the month function which returns the month when I give it a date. Okay, so if if the month of this date I've put in my sequence and returns the date of the sequence. Okay, if I close the month function right there is equal to the month of this one here. This is August. So if equal to August, so I'm giving me August. If it is equal to August, please return my sequence, which is this one here that I used at first. And if not, leave a space. I close my if function and press enter. Now when I do that, nothing appears. It is not that there is nothing, but this, I have to bring the figures I need to bring to use an array formula. Now it is displaying multiple values in a single cell. So to enable it to spread it over the different cells, I need to use the array formula. So you highlight that formula and press Control Shift Enter. When you do that, you're gonna see the array formula surrounding what we have done. Now I need to press Enter. When I do that, you can see the first days are left out and Tuesday is rightly picked up. And also you can see at the end here, we are leaving out the days of the next month. With that hack, we are able to pull values for only this month. It is good to check whether it works for the other months. First of September, you can see it works fine. You can try another month, October. You can see it all works fine. Now, having achieved this, now the next thing we're gonna do is to remove the full date uh, to display only the day. And to do that, we just need to highlight all our cells here, go to formatting, and we're gonna use the day formatting, the custom day formatting right there. And uh, what you're gonna pick is only the date. I already have it here, but if at all you don't have it, you can just do this, remove all the things here. Right, so then what I want is the day. You see the day right here? Just click on that and quite apply. So when you do that, it brings, it formats the full day into the day of the month. So next we have to check it for the other months. Go to September, it is working fine. Go to uh, next year. January, it is all working fine. So this is how you can create a calendar in Google Sheets that you can continuously use. The way it works is you just put in the start date of the month that you 
the calendar that you want to visualize, and then it will be visualized as seen here. For this heading here, or I linked it to this cell and also did a custom date formatting to bring the date and the year. So I hope this has been helpful. In case you ever want to do a calendar in Google Sheets, you can also publish it and uh, share it with friends. This is the way how you can go about it. If you have a different way of doing it, please share with me. And if you have any challenge, reach out to me. I look at your challenge and see how I can be of help. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Like the video, share, and see you in the next video.